Hi everyone, so here we have a redesign I did on one of my clients' nails this week. And she's off on holiday. Can anyone guess where she's going? <laughs> so she sent me loads of inspiration. I decided to go for a nice kind of classic polka dot. So I've done all my usual prep of the natural nail after um, taking down the bulk. And I'm then coming in with CJP Cherry Blossom. Taking the liquid out of the back of that first bead, placing where I want my smile line, and then using my brush to... Beautiful noise from my dog uh, coughing in the corner there, sorry. Using my brush to pat it flat, and then use the tip of my brush to shape that nice smile line. Please excuse the state of my own nails. As I said in previous videos, I used a top coat I don't normally use on some of them, and they've kind of messed up quite badly, so... And I keep meaning to change them, but uh, I've got to redo them in like two days for the scratch awards, so I can't really be bothered. So once that's all set, I'm coming in with my 150 grit file, pushing against that acrylic, and filing in that nice crisp smile line. Getting rid of any dust. And then now I'm going to be using my clear acrylic with holographic multi-cut in ruby I apologize if I'm a bit uh, uh, I have voiced over this video about six times and it keeps deleting it and dying on me so uh, hopefully this time it will work <laughs> so I'm just using a bead of clear acrylic to pick up that glitter place it in the center and then push it up into the wings As you can see you've got a lovely crisp tip there I'm going to do a full glitter nail here so putting a little wash of colour, uh, wash of colour, wash of clear, and then coming in with the ruby all over that nail. Make sure I'm happy and that entire nail is covered. And then when I'm happy with that coverage, I'm just showing you here, you want to make sure your monomer is nice and clear when you're capping these glitters. If it's a little bit dull, it will affect how clear the final um, look is. So make sure you always have a nice fresh monomer when capping any glitters. And I'm just capping them all in clear, making sure that they turn matte so I know that they've all been capped and encapsulated. And same again with the full glitter now. Placing near the cuticle area and blending down. Pulling and patting, making sure all of that glitter is covered. Okay. And then when they're all set and filed in, I'm going to add a little bit of nail art, just doing some little polka dots. So I'm using some white paint. These are the orgasmic nail paints I reviewed recently. And then just using my CJP dotting tool just to create little polka dots. Now I'm not doing it on the full glitter now, so on that now I'm going to use Swarovski crystals to create the polka dot effect. So I'm just going to use my CJP gripper glue and just placing four dots down the centre of the nail and then using my wax crayon to pick up those crystals and place on the nail. Then I'm going to do the same with another row either side. I'm going to make sure I leave a decent gap between each because I want to be able to get my top coat brush in between here. Now you can go over the top of your Swarovski crystals but it will dull them a little because part of what gives Swarovski its lovely shine is the way that the crystals are cut so if you put anything over the top you're going to dull the facets so they're not going to look as shiny so I always try to go round as much as possible. So 
So just carefully going around. Make sure the entire nail is top coated. Popping that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I did a second top coat on the painted nails. 60 second LED and then that's all done. I'm now coming in with CJP Black Diamonds. Getting a decent sized bead using my Crystal Nails Mini 3D. Taking the liquid out of the back, placing on the nail. And as it's setting, just slowly patting it. Very gently patting it flat. So you want to keep it in that round shape and you don't want to add any brush marks to the circle, you just want to be patting it nice and flat. Then I'm coming in with two smaller beads to create Mickey's ears. And again, as they're setting, I'm just going to come in and gently pat. You don't want to squish or deform the acrylic, you just want to pat, 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 nice and gently. Again, when they're all cured, give it a couple of minutes for that acrylic to set, and then pop a bit of cuticle oil on. So there you go, guys. These are my Disney nails. I hope you've enjoyed. If you'd like to see the unedited version, head on over to my Patreon account. There's a link in the description below. Any other questions, comments, requests, pop that below. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.